I'm so happy that I'm able to at least um, contact you virtually, and I really regret not being there. I would have really loved to be with you uh, because for me, the power of teachers is the power. Uh, you impact the life of children, uh, and uh, you have a very important role. Unfortunately, I can't be there, but I have invited and brought along my best bet to really communicate the message that we want to communicate and to help you think about translanguaging in your classroom. Uh, her name is Kate Seltzer, uh, and Kate um, has been a doctoral student with me, uh, a research assistant in the cuny nicep project. She is now an assistant professor at Rowan University. She has been a classroom teacher. Uh, she has developed a lot of materials that you probably can find in our website, cuny nicep uh, And she presently works with teachers, um, uh, making sure that teachers pay attention uh, to the uh, to what the children are about and to their language practices and of course the translanguaging. For me, uh, translanguaging is powerful uh, and it's powerful because it fits with your mission. Uh, that is, um, you the international schools talk about teaching the whole child and especially in a place where your children come from different contexts. Uh, to think about the whole child, you have to think of um, what is it that they bring, uh, their cultural knowledge, their social knowledge, their families, their communities, and of course, their language practices. And we work from language practices, not from languages as named languages, and yet we think that children can be extended their repertoire, that they, that they have a, re a language repertoire that is extended, can be extended, in order for them to acquire, of course, uh, the pieces that we want them to acquire uh, that are more in different languages. Uh, so I think what Kate will do with you is show you, uh, tell you a little bit about the theoretical background, of course, but especially help you deep uh, dive into the practice and to think of what are the pedagogical um, uh, adjustments that you should be making in your teaching in order to incorporate translanguaging. Um, Translanguaging is built from the children, not from the languages. And therefore, I think uh, I'm very confident and very hopeful that the international schools will be able to have a leading uh, role in this uh, transformation of how we look at multilingualism, not from the languages themselves, but from the child's perspective and how then that those language practices that involve the whole child, not just what they bring to school, can be extended to uh, acquisition of different languages. So thank you, uh, que tengan una buena conferencia y que la pasen muy bien. Y los dejo con Kate. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you.